Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for coming on by. My name is Matt from Diazable, doing album reviews. If you're new, thanks for coming on by. If you're not, welcome back, guys. Today, we're checking out the band Periphery with their latest album, Periphery 5. Gent is not a genre. Now, a little background on this band is they come from the uh, United States, from Washington, D.C. I think they're like a six-piece progressive metal outfit that's been working on their craft for about like... 14, 15 years now and everything. And they've been just one of the heaviest and most technical playing like prog metal bands in recent history in the metal and underground metal scene and everything. And they're known for being really, really like technical in the guitar playing, their time signatures, their mixing, mixing of these different genres and just overall being heavy while being really, really super technical with their work and everything. So I'm excited to check out this new album from them. So let's get into it. Hard as fuck guitars with some really interesting guitar pinches and patterns throughout this song. The tuning's really good on the guitars. I really like how they sound here. The vocals sound really great and have like a full body sound to them and everything. Drums are a little low in the mix, but they can still pummel your ears with how intense they are and everything. The clean vocals can have a really like high soaring sound to them that feel really good. And then as the song progresses, there's this like weird jazz uh, transition with this huge saxophone at the end. And it just like subtly, but not at the same time, not subtly just comes out of nowhere. And as you're hearing, you're like, what? This doesn't make sense. But then you're like, actually kind of blends in nicely and everything. And then at the very end, it just goes really hard with some blast beats just to make everything sound really heavy. Chunky, chunky wrists at the start of this song and they sound really good clean vocals that sound great super progressive like guitar playing and everything overall his clean vocals they're just super high and sound really good nice and clear he's doing a great job here and got some really creative lyrics to go with it too uh very uh snappy drums and everything they sound really good uh overall very simple but then complex writing on this song uh they weave back and forth between these styles of like complex writing and simple writing so easily it's just phenomenal and it's an eight minute track that just like breezes on by nicely. You don't feel any fatigue while listening to the song. It's not a chore. It's just really, really nice and refreshing. And at the very end, they like to have this long play out at the end of the song, which usually I think never adds to a song. But on this particular song, it really actually adds to the song overall. So I'm going to play a clip of uh, Tropos, the Tropos. So heavy. The guitars seem more pulled back and less aggressive and more technical on here and like really proggy and they sound nice. Bass is really buzzing and laying down a nice like thick feel in the background and everything. And again, more creative and fun lyrics. They're really fun to listen to. Uh, the inclusion of pianos on this track are really slick and smoothly added in and everything. There's some nice guitar scaling in the midsection of the song and everything that sounds nice. Uh, and they use a lot of symbols here during, with the drumming and everything to add a lot of a uh, flair to the song and make it like jazzy. You know, I'd say jazzy, but like more pizzazzy and everything. And I would say he can really hold a note when singing. Like he's got some uh, good vocal uh, chops and everything. And as I'm listening to these songs, I'm not a big periphery fan. Can't deny it. They're pretty solid and they're pretty epic. The guitars and the bass here have more of an aggressive sound here while the drums seem a little bit less aggressive and more like simple and chill and everything. There's a lot of distorted guitar effects in here that make me think of uh, the band Amur and the style of like new metal playing, nice chugs and everything. So it's pretty heavy and nice to listen to. Uh, the vocals seem a little bit low in the mix and everything. So it's kind of hard to hear him. Uh, it gets a little hectic and messy in the middle of the song, but they're able to uh, pull it back nicely and wrap things up. Well, not wrap things up, but get back to a better groove, I think. And some of the playing here kind of reminds me of Josh Travis, his style of playing from like Tony Tap Dance Extravaganza, that really technical and like fine tuned playing. The breakdown at the end is okay uh, with the vocals on top. It sounds really dope, but then like they make it even slower and heavier afterwards and it sounds really good. So I want to play a clip of Everything is Fine. <laughs> That 
part gets a little hectic and everything, but overall, it's still a pretty good song. song. This song starts off with like a soft lo-fi opening with some clean singing and everything, which is a nice uh, change up of everything. The vocals get a little shaky at times, but it kind of goes along with the song, I think. And then like it has like some like retro 80s style synth beats to it that make it sound pretty dope and everything. Uh, good lyrics again, they're very creative, very well written. And I think uh, they blend all these type of genres really well together. But I will say as the song swells and ends and everything and builds up towards the end, the first half of the song sounds better towards the uh sounds better than the uh second half i think here we get more of like a soft pop rock song at the beginning and everything with some really like chilling vocals and everything and there's one particular lyric on this song that really like stood out to me is a uh, you are pristine like a dying star i think that's a pretty cool line and everything uh bass is really uh layered well and uh high on this track and everything lots of versatility in terms of uh like playing and like creative ideas on this album i'm really enjoying it um, in this song particular, it's a very well-crafted song with all the different uh, styles of playing here and uh, introducing different like elements to the song, I guess you could say. Uh, the bass set in the back end of the song sounds really powerful. And uh, I love like the crashing so sound of the cymbals and everything towards the end. And then they bring in some gang vocals at the end that really help elevate the song. So I'm going to play a clip of Dying Star for you. I just realized I misinterpreted that line. I thought it was pristine, but it's persistent. Whoopsie, still sounds dope. Here we're back to that more proggy and metalcore style playing with some deep vocal uh, growls and everything, hard and heavy chugs and everything. Um, but then it goes back to more like high soaring riffs and whatnot. Uh, drums are a bit low in the mix on this track as well. Uh, the drop off into the solo is a bit jarring. It's a little bit like disjointed a bit and just too abrupt, I think. Uh, the clean vocals at the back end of the song feel uh, a bit off with how he's uh, singing and everything. And some nice cymbal splashes in this song and everything sound good. Uh, I will say the second half of the song has more like feeling and energy to it and more of a bite than the first half. So overall, it's kind of just an okay song. Hard and super chuggy riffs with some good groove to them, uh, especially the tuning of the guitars. They sound really great here. Nice vocal range with low and high uh, like screams and everything. Spencer, he's got a good range and everything. Very nice. Uh, very technical and hard playing here. Uh, very big, massive wall of sound, it feels like. And it all sounds really good, uh, especially towards the back end of the song. And then there's like some uh, calm and cool lo-fi beats to like help play the song out, which ties everything up nicely. The transition from the last song to this song is very clean, very nice. The drums, I think, Possibly on the entire track, the drums are like the best here with how alive they sound. Uh, they got some really nice and powerful clean vocals here. Um, but I will say there's some like weird phasing in and out of sounds in the background that I don't know how to describe. They're just really like, I'd say a little distracting. Uh, huge vocal performances here. And then they bring in some violence to help like switch things up a bit and everything. And the song fades out for a while with like some space and like synth sounds that really just send this album off on a nice like send off periphery might be like a prog metal band to most people but i think they're more than that especially with this album because they're able to fuse other genres like jazz house synthwave and heavy like heavy like dark songs and everything and just craft really interesting unique songs that all interwine with these elements very nicely and i think what helps a lot of the time is how groovy and how interesting and how unique the guitars are. They're phenomenal. The guitar work here is just incredible how well they can play the guitars here and infuse the sound of the guitar with all these other genres and everything. Very impressive there. And they sound amazing. And the next thing that's just as impressive is the vocals in terms of the range of the high screams, low growls, clean singing. Just he can hit all these different genres very well and mixing with some really creative and fun lyrics and everything so that's just another amazing thing on here and then you have the bass here that's just adding so much texture to these songs with how buzzing and like thick it sounds and everything 
and then you got the production which for the most part just sounds clear and crisp as day for all the different elements from the violins to some like saxophones they bring in all these different elements and they sound really really good and they uh, like layer them out very nicely the only thing i can say is the layering of some instruments like the drums like the snare and kick drum for the most part i couldn't really hear it for most of the songs and everything and so it was hard to hear and feel the drum but i could hear the cymbals very nicely and they played really well and when i did hear the drums they added a lot to the songs and sounded really good but they were kind of mixed out a bit i think at times so i would say that's the only blemish on this uh, really really incredible album from periphery which i would say is a good and solid nine out of ten this band is really good at just doing what they do and then adding to it with each album it seems like by bringing in new genres and creating creative songs so nothing but impressive work from the guys in periphery check out the links down below for all their music and everything i'm matt from diazable check out this video over here and until next time bye Just